Okay, today we have a real world situation going on, so I thought I would share with everybody. I am in my building and as you can see, my battery bank has a 100% state of charge. Even though I've been running uh, some battery chargers and some heaters and a few things, the uh, wind and the solar working together has kept everything nicely topped off. Uh, I don't have a great draw going on in here, but I do have a pretty good draw. Um, <clears throat> what I want to take you outside and show you is we have this beautiful, snowy, sticky day going on. <clears throat> and my four panels over here, my PV, just happens to have a nice coating of snow over top. So I'm not getting very much solar activity at all. But if you can look up at the turbine, we do have some wind coming through and we've had some wind coming through. So we've had uh, enough wind power to operate the turbine in order to keep the batteries topped off. Um, <clears throat> my system is an off-grid system and prior to adding my turbine, it was necessary during dark days and cloudy days to hook up my gasoline powered generator in order to keep a safe state of charge on the batteries. This port I ordered online to interface my portable generator. To the inverter and <clears throat> that's worked really well in the past and I'm really happy that uh, I haven't needed to use it this year. On those uh, cloudy dark days or overnight when I haven't had any uh, PV, I've had enough wind power to operate the turbine to keep the batteries up. After watching my last video of the system setup that I had going on, Tony at Hurricane Wind Power gave me a call and pointed out that I should rethink the connection that I had going on on both charging outputs from the turbine and the PV where I had it going directly to the inverter and not directly to the battery bank. In my mind, it was a shorter wire run as the battery bank was also connected to the inverter electrically, the connection should be the same. My flaw was not considering what might happen should the fuse open up on the battery bank. If that were to happen, I would then be trying to operate the inverter directly off the charging outputs of the PV and the turbine. Obviously, for many reasons, that would not be good for the inverter or the controllers. Not to mention, it could have been an expensive repair. Now that I've updated the setup, I have down here my four 12-volt uh, batteries that are in series and parallel to give me uh, 24 volts and a total of about uh, 380 amp hours in total coming off there and then what I did is I came off of the outputs the PV DC out and the turbine DC out it now runs down comes in behind the batteries and comes up here in the front in the middle where it's connected to the 24 volts then in order to run my inverter or the load it comes out is fused right there on the block goes past the switch and up to the inverter. So now should I draw too much current and pop the fuse or something else happen, uh, the, uh, the fuse would then blow but yet the uh, charging would continue to go to the batteries and the inverter would drop offline. And if something were to happen to one of the batteries where it were to short, of course there's a breaker inside the midnight box for the PV and a breaker right there for the uh, DC out. I have got a few questions uh, regarding my use of the uh, Square D breaker for DC. And as long as you're using the Square D QO breaker, uh, commercial breaker, they are DC as well as AC rated. The enclosure and the breaker, in my personal opinion, is heavier built and it's less expensive and available at most electrical supply houses and home stores. It is important to note though that the Square D home line breakers are not DC rated and you shouldn't try to use that for DC. 
But with that new uh, wiring setup done, thank you very much, Tony, for pointing that out, uh, saving, uh, saving me dollars down the road should there have been a mishap. I really appreciate it, and we're back to making good power. Uh, just a quick look here. The clipper's doing its thing, and uh, we've got 50-some-odd uh, volts coming in, and we're fluctuating in current. Um, everything is all topped off. You can see the battery voltage is up there pretty good. And, of course, with the cells being covered, uh, we're not getting very much current through there at all. So uh, I may grab a broom and just knock that off so that uh, everything can play together happily. Um, one note I might say, uh, when I was speaking with uh, Roy Butler of Midnight Solar uh, back in the day, I asked him if they should be in follow me mode, and he said no, in his opinion, uh, with the wind and the solar, uh, let the two controllers fight it out. So uh, they are not in follow me mode. With that, you guys have a great day, and I will uh, leave you to it.